Today is the day of the Lord. Let's welcome the Sunday homily with Father Ryan RCJ. Today is the third Sunday of Advent and it is called as Gaudete Sunday. Gaudete comes from the Latin word Gaudium, which means joy. So today, the church is asking us to rejoice, to be glad, and to be happy. But today, in our Advent wreath, we are going to light the third candle. The color is pink, because pink symbolizes joy. And the question is, what is joy? Someone would say, joy ay malambot. <gasps> Other would say, joy is sang patak lang. Tanggal ang sang katutak. Woo! There must be the reason for our joy. We just celebrated the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception. And in that Gospel of the Annunciation, we have heard the angel Gabriel announced to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Hail, full of grace, Ave, gratia, plena. The angel is asking the Blessed Virgin Mary to rejoice because the Lord is with you. The Lord is with the Blessed Virgin Mary since from the moment of her conception. That's why this joy is the result of the presence of the Lord in one's life. Once we see the Lord, there is joy. Isang sakristan, sabi niya kanyang parish priest, You know, Father, I am happy today in the church. I am joyful dahil nakita ko na. And the priest asks, Nakita mo na? Sino nakita mo? Ang Panginoon, hindi Father, nakita ko na ang aking ideal girl in the church. Joy. In our first reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, there's the invitation to be joyful, to rejoice, to exult, to be glad. Because there is no more sorrow. There is no more weeping and mourning. Because the Lord will come in order to give freedom and deliverance for the people. That is precisely the reason why there is rejoicing. Because the Lord comes. The Lord is in our midst. He comes in order to save. In our second reading from the letter of James, James is asking the people to be patient. You know, when we are patient, there is joy. The other way around, if we are impatient, we are sad people. We cannot have joy because we are impatient. We cannot wait. We just want to see effects right at that very moment. The Lord is asking us to be patient. Like the farmer is patient for the harvest. May isang bata bumili ng bubble gum. Tao po, pabili ng bubble gum. And the seller said, wala kaming bubble gum dito. After two minutes, bumali ang bata. Tao po, pabili ng bubble gum. And the seller asked again, wala kaming bubble gum dito. And then the, the seller said, pag bumalik ka dito, babarili na kita. And the child returned. Tao po, meron po kayong baril? Wala! Adi, pabili ng bubble gum. Be patient. Because when we are patient, there is joy. We can able to understand, to sympathize the people. That's why in our gospel for today, we have heard John the Baptist sent his disciples to the Lord and asking, Are you the one who is to come? Or shall we look for another? Are you the Messiah? And Jesus just answered, Just tell John the Baptist, The blind regain their sight. The dead are raised 
the lepers are healed, the deaf hear, and the poor have the good news proclaimed to them. Those are the works of the Messiah, the works of mercy. In other words, the coming of the Messiah entails miracles in one's life. There is miracle. My Himala. There is miracle if we are able to see and to recognize the presence of the Lord. That the Lord is indeed alive. Buhay ang ating Panginoon sa ating buhay. But sometimes we fail to realize the presence of God in our lives. But the Lord is always with us. May isang bata, inutusan ng kanyang nanay. Anak, bumili ka ng suka doon sa tindahan. Mami, I don't want to go. Takot po ako, madilim na. Anak, bumili ka ng suka. Mami, takot po ako. And the mother wanted to console the child. Anak, don't be afraid. Kasama natin si Jesus. And the child was happy. Really? Mami, talaga? Kasama natin si Jesus? Kung kasama po natin si Jesus, Mami, pwede si Jesus na lang ang utusan mo nang bumili ng suka. The Lord is indeed present in our life. He is alive. And this is our mission to acknowledge, to see His living presence in our lives. As we acknowledge and see and experience the presence of the Lord, there will be joy. Pope Francis would always say in his encyclical, Evangelii Gaudium, joy is the result of our encounter with the Lord. Let us pray that we may be able to see, to recognize, to hear the presence of the Lord. Because the Lord will never abandon us. He is always with us. Let's pray. Lord, open our eyes to see you. Open our ear to hear you. Open our heart to recognize your presence. As we recognize you, help us to proclaim you to our brothers and sisters. Amen. Saint Hannibal Mary, pray for us. Send the Lord, Holy Apostles, into your church. And this is Father Ryan Menes of the Rogationist of the Heart of Jesus, who always says, Purihin ang Diyos, purihin ang Panginoon. God bless you all.